Um, let's do a quick pivot and talk about immigration. Um, so I think the great failing of the last five years in Congress has been the failure to get an immigration bill. And we are on the verge of fixing that. We are on the verge of getting a bipartisan bill that would enact comprehensive immigration reform in this country. It's really important, not just because, as we know, immigration is the, the both moral and economic strength of this nation. We are who we are because we have allowed for people to come from all over the world and uh, assimilate into this country and become American while keeping part of their cultural heritage. And it's also been the story of our economic growth. The reason that we grow as an economy is because um, we have demographics that keep a young workforce here. Um, unfortunately, um, our immigration policy is stalled because we let it become a wedge issue um, in a way that it shouldn't. Um, Republicans and Democrats right now on the verge in the Senate of coming up with an immigration reform bill um, that would do a handful of things. First, it would get tougher on our borders. Um, I went down a couple of years ago to the El Paso border and you know, it was unjustifiable that you could just go a couple miles outside of El Paso and see sections of that border with no fencing. Although we've invested billions of dollars into more fencing and more border patrol agents, we can do more. Second, enforce the laws that are on the books, not just against the people that are here without documentation, but against employers as well. Um, have even-handed enforcement and do it um, in an even-handed way. Um, third, fix the existing immigration system. The highest caseload into our office as a member of the Senate is immigration. Because if you want to bring your loved one here legally, it can take years and years to do it. Just to get a visitor's visa to come here for a short period of time. The interview can back up in some of these countries for um, multiple years. Um, now there's never a good enough reason to go outside the legal system, but we should make that system better and easier to maneuver through. Fourth, and probably most controversially, um, I just believe in a pathway to citizenship, earned citizenship, for um, a portion of the people that are here today without documentation. Um, I, I don't think you give it away, um, but I think for people that have been here for a long period of time, who have ties to the community, who haven't violated any laws, who have paid the taxes that have been owed, that they should be able to get in line and apply to be United States citizens. And we should put kids at the front of that list. We should say that students that came here when they were two or eight or ten um, and have known nothing except living in this country, that uh, they should have an opportunity to live that dream. Um, I think we can get this deal done. And uh, I think that it may be coming up in the Senate in the late spring. And I gotta tell you, it would be one of the proudest accomplishments of my short time in public service if we were able uh, to do it. This is something very important that I hope gets done in the short run.